Okay, ready? So what is the question? Yeah. Uh, so the big question for, for no hides is how much or how little? And especially when it comes to spiritual things like the things that you're involved in, the Kabbalah. How much and how little is a rap is a Noahide allowed to go into without um, getting into you know stuff that they're not supposed to? Right. <clears throat> so the answer is that there's no clear answer. <laughs> okay. There's no. I, there's no. The, I didn't see a clear source that says like this is the amount. This is the right. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the right measurement. So my answer, to my humble opinion, is that it's it's a personal, it's a it is a personal question and it is a personal answer. So for different people, the answer will be different. Um, and that's that's by by the way also what I will say to to a Jewish person that comes to me and is asking like how deep you can go with Kabbalah. Because mm -hmm. someone that is that is Jewish and is not following the the Torah or is following the Torah but not full way, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell him that I recommend to him to go to the deepest stuff, because he's not he's not he's not taking things serious enough. Yeah. So uh -huh. so for sure so so for sure I would say also in the same direction also for Nohai that someone that is very very serious and very dedicated and whatever he knows that he should do he does then the answer is he can he can definitely go more than someone that is just you know curious and he just you know wants to know but he doesn't have any intention to apply what he learns uh -huh. um that that's 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 the, that's the basic formula or the the way that I see it. Um, the the question is the question is what is the purpose of of this the purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, someone someone that that for him he just you know he just want to know what is Kabbalah. Okay. So okay, so you know, so go go for some like introductions that will give you the that you know some kind of a some kind of a clue about what is Kabbalah, and that's it, finished. What like what's the purpose? What 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 do you want to know? What do you want to achieve? Mm -hmm. Um, just a moment. Kashati le kashati le chauda, shani lo lo. בסדר. חצי שעה, משהו כזה, 40 דקות, בלי נדע. טוב. So if there is someone that, that he wants to, to really connect to Hashem in a deep, serious way to, to develop his relationship with Hashem, so then that's, 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 the, that's the right purpose. That's right. For, for to my to my to my understanding, my approach, this is the reason to to learn Kabbalah. So mm -hmm. that will be also for Nahid, also for, for someone that is Jewish. The if if there is if there is a purpose, if there is a reason, and if the person is willing to to do whatever he's learning. Not just to learn it as intellectual knowledge, to add more knowledge to what he knows. To you know, some people they just want to show off to other people. Uh, look at me, I know this stuff. You know, all kinds of things like that. So that's that's a uh, that's not that's not a reason to go deep. Someone, someone, someone that that he wants to to know Hashem to as much as we uh, have the permission to know. So then there's there's a reason to go a little bit more. And how much exactly? There's, a, there's a, it's it's very hard to say. 
very hard to say. There was a, about about a half a year ago, <clears throat> maybe one year ago, there was a person that was coming to my classes that it was like within the process of conversion. And I saw that he was very, very interested. He was really fascinated. And he, he was he was not was in that time he was not, but he was in the direction of, of converting. Um, and in a certain point, he, he, I, I, he said it with like very, very sad, sad heart, but, but he said, I feel that, that like you're going to, into like too, like too deep water and it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's too much for me. And, and, and he, he stood up and he left by himself. I didn't need to tell him anything. He, he, felt, he felt that, that because, because he was very honest, with himself, with his relationship with Hashem. So he knew when to stop. He, he, he felt that he was like, it was too much and, and, he, and he made himself the, the, the stop sign. And um, so that's the, that's the preferable option. Yeah. I don't like to say no to people. When someone, he wants, mm-hmm. someone, somebody comes to me and he wants to learn, I don't like to say no. I want, I want to teach everybody everything. But it's 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 not it's not so simple. It's not so simple. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's let sometimes I'm comparing between Torah and and physics. So like physics is is the science of the of the physical world. So Kabbalah is like obviously it's much more than that, especially for me. But let's say that Kabbalah is like the science, the physics of the spiritual worlds. Let's say. <clears throat> so someone that is coming to, to university uh, to learn physics, how much would he learn? One year, two years, three years, four years, 10 years, 20 years. How much he will, he will keep on like ser- researching and developing himself and and open himself to new knowledge and new, right? Not, not most of the people they will, they won't learn so much. They won't be so dedicated, right? So, and that's in the in the physical. So, how much more so when we're talking about something spiritual, right? So the, there is there is a certain a certain natural measurement that the person feels content. I got what I wanted. I don't need more than this. But, but again, to, for, for a person to, to, to know that, he has to be truthful for himself. He has to be honest with himself. Can't fool himself. When someone, when someone is, is, he has the right, the right uh, attitude, like I said before, he's, he's, not, he's not trying to show off to other people and so on. It's just, he, he, feels, he feels thirst within himself. So he will have some, that, 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 that thirst will take him to a certain point. Yeah. And then, and then he, he will feel that, okay, I got what I wanted. I don't need more than that. And that's, that's, that's the way I see that. Okay. So it just depends. It goes to person to person basis, how, how much or how little a person should go into. And also what's the purpose? What's their purpose? Um, um, so let's think, uh, I'd rather speak a little personal is, is sometimes is I've been thinking that death is better than life. Is this true? <laughs> well, there's definitely something to that. There's a, there's an argument in the Gemara between Bet Shemai and Bet Hillel. Um, is it good for a human being to be created? Or is it bad for a human being to be created? So the conclusion of the Gemara is that really it's bad for a person to be created. It would have been no, better well. not to come to this world. Right. But now when we're in this world, so we better use that, that possibility that, to use that, that uh, um, To, to use the potential that Hashem gave us in this life, in this world. Um, so how to use it? 
whatever a person is able to do, good things in his in the in the time, in the strength, in the in in his whatever whatever Hashem gives him to use it for good purposes. So that will be to, to take advantage of the potential the of, of, of the life that Hashem gave him. So that's that's uh, that's one that's one point. Okay. Another point that I just I just said it like a couple of hours ago to someone that came to me that I don't I, I told him I don't understand people that are living life without faith in Hashem. How can you live in this world without getting crazy? Someone that doesn't people. have faith in Hashem, like it doesn't make sense to 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 stay alive. Yeah, like but some they, people they, do they, it all the time. Some billions and billions. I mean, look at. I mean, there's Jewish that don't live with Hashem. There's non-Jews who never even heard of the word Torah Hashem the, the whole life, and they they seem to carry on happy lives. Okay, but there is there is a certain there is a certain um, happiness that comes with stupidity. Okay. Okay. The the, okay. the Shlomo Melech that he was the the wisest man on earth. He says, Marbe dad, marbe machov. When someone, he have like more knowledge, he understands life and the world. So, marbe machov, he have, a lot of, he, have a lot, he have a lot of pain that comes with it. There's a lot of pain that comes with the knowledge. When you, when you see like what's going on in the world and you yeah. see what people are, are like thinking and how people live in their life, it's very painful. If you don't have faith in Hashem. If you have faith in Hashem, so it's not painful, it's good. Baruch Hashem. Everything is good. There's no, there's no problem whatsoever. Because we're in good hands. We're in the hands of Hashem. There's nothing to worry about. So this is the difference. This is the difference of living life with faith or living without faith. So someone that is also is is a smart person he thinks he looks around he's getting to conclusions if he doesn't have faith so the chances that he will lose himself get crazy commit suicide become to be a drug addict or something like that is is very very high chances because mm. like how like what do you do with all of what's going on in the world so, so obviously the answer, the right answer should be, yes, Hashem is there, Hashem is taking care of everything, and that's it, right? So then we can look around and enjoy the, enjoy the wisdom of Hashem. So the same, the same world that you, that you look around, I'm not saying you, I'm saying like whoever, yeah? The, the same world that someone looks around and gets by whatever he sees, in the same way, he can look around, see the same things, and get fulfilled with, with happiness and joy. And nothing has changed around him. All what changed was inside of him, the perspective, the point of view. So if you look on the world around you, and you see, and you say, "Wow, Hashem, you created all of that just for me. That's amazing. Thank you, Hashem." So that's that's life that is worth it to live, mm -hmm. right? Um, that's that's the life that, that's the life that I'm trying to live. And to say that that I'm successful every moment, no. But I'm trying to gather those moments as much as I can and to put them together. And as much as there is, I, I appreciate it. And every moment like that is of awareness, is a present from Hashem. So it's better that the rabbis conclude in the Gemara that it's not, it's better for man to not be creative but since we're here, make the most of it and yeah. use, it, use it for a good purpose since we're already here. 
Right. And, and also, if things look really not so good, we have to have a change of perspective. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if in so one of the big, big, big uh, problems with Noah Heights is they are very isolated. They have no community. They have nothing to, to connect with. How? Okay. So I'm also reading a book called The Seven Colors of the Rainbow by Rabbi Yirmeyahu Binman. Back in 96, it was made. And he says in the book that the Jewish and the, the righteous non-Jews, the God-fearers, back 300, 400, 500, 600 years ago, long time ago, more than so, that there were some God-fearing non-Jews living with Jewish people. They were together. They understood one another. But because of the pressures of the pagans, the Romans, the Greeks, et cetera, et cetera, you know, it, 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 put a, it put a stop to all of that. So how do you think the, uh, some Orthodox communities, let's say the one that you live in now, how would they include a non-Jew who wants to love Hashem and keep his promise, keep his Torah, but not convert? How well would that person be received in that community? Would they be how well? Um, the community that I'm living in, that... the community that I'm living in, for sure, it can be accepted. The community that I'm living here, here in Hatzion, uh, with the diaspora Shiva. So you've been here, you experienced that, and yeah. I. There is obvious, there always there is people that are not accepting anyone. And also, you know, there's, there's some people, they have what to say about me, that they, want, they, don't, they don't like the way I dress or whatever it is, they don't like the, my, my, my beer, whatever. There is people that just be looking for something to, to you know, to, to get upset about. So I'm not, I'm not yeah. talking about those people. You know, you, you can find those people <laughs> everywhere, unfortunately. But generally the uh, the community here is accepted and there is other communities as well that 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 definitely there is a place for that that's uh, in the Torah it's called Ger Toshav Ger Toshav okay. is a Noahide he accepted on himself the, the seven Noahide laws in front of a bedding and and there is a permission for for him to live in Eretz Israel and for a Jew to give him a place to live in Eretz Israel um, there, there is, there is definitely space for that. Do you think? How do you, like, I, I think that so there is people uh -huh. that do that. I think that there is so people the, that do that. Not, not the right, lot, but so there is people that do that today. So you're saying that Ger Toshav is like uh, a legal status within Israel, right? Yeah. So yeah. how do you think? What can be I'm, done? I'm talking legal, you... legal, like in the Torah, yeah. Nothing to do correct, with the correct. state of Israel, yeah. All right, yeah, okay. So that's my next follow-up question, is that as of now, Jews who want, who want, or anyone who wants to move to Israel, they either have to be Jewish or they have to have like a residency to work in Israel. Is there any avenue that you know of that of someone who wants to be close and inside Eretz Israel but still not be Jewish? Is there any any avenue to make that legal? Um, it's not my field. I, I, I'm not not, field I, don't know, I don't know how it's, how it's done, but I have no doubt that someone that will be very, very focused and dedicated, he can, he can that I'm sure it can be arranged somehow. And oh. the, fact is, the fact is that unfortunately, there is people that are bringing non-Jews that are not Noahides, and yeah. according to the Torah, they, they should not live in Eretz Israel, and somehow they bring them here and they give them place and, you know, all kinds of, of, of uh, whatever, I don't know what to say, like things that, like people that, that, are, that are negative, if one, if one. but, you know, so if, if they have the possibility, so we should have the possibility, yeah, just right. uh, like, let, let's say, let's put it this way. Theoretically, theoretically, if 
um, we would know that there is like a group of people that have some money to, to back them. So I could, you know, ask like a couple of lawyers if somebody is, somebody is interested to, to, you know, to arrange some kind of a, some kind of a framework to, to, to do something like that, you know, that it will be within, within the law, whatever. You know? But it's something, something for a lawyer to deal with. I, I, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know like uh, who, to, who to ask. I would just go to a lawyer and ask him. So you think, you think that like, I mean, so in this book, in this book it's basically saying that Noahides are living a messianic, a messianic era. Because in the, in the messianic era, there are gonna be some non-Jews, a lot of Jews as well, of course. But there's a lot of, gonna be a lot of nations that are, you know, that are still gonna exist after the big, big, big war. So um, do you think the state of Israel is gonna have to have to have a revolution within itself so that the Torah halacha can be put in place to allow the Ger Toshav to be with, you know, in the land of Israel? Do you believe there has to be a revolution within Israel? So that well, Halakha could be put into like I, full I, I, on I think I think, I think that, the, that we are within a process of a revolution. I don't look at it like as, as a future. I look at it as a present. We are within the process. That's one point. Second point, like there is many, many Torah laws that needs to be applied. And, okay. and that will be one of them. There, there's, there's many, many like Torah laws that right now, unfortunately, they are ignored. And Bezal Hashem, very soon, they will be applied. So it's just a just matter of time. How do, you think, how do you think those events are going to occur, Rabbi? How do you think, what, it was, what are those events going to occur for the, for like, let's say for me, for instance, I'm in Texas, I'm in the United States, everything is the way it is right now. What do you think is a first sign that uh, is going to happen for that global revolution for people to understand there is a God and it's the God of the Jews. What do you think is the first sign for them to, uh, for this worldwide revolution to happen? I know that there is many people that, that they are expecting to have some kind of like very dramatic kind of a, of, of, a, of a scene in the world. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not really in that in that headspace. I'm not I'm not looking to see like a big event with fireworks and and uh, you know like a big announcements of the leaders of the world. Yes, we acknowledge that Torah. Something else. I I for me I see that that's that's it happens in a more kind of a, what they call today organic, uh, you know, uh, process. Yeah. It, go, it goes bit by bit, what, like one person saying, speaking with another person and slowly, slowly there's, but there's definitely, there's definitely without any, any doubt, if you compare the state of the world today to what, is, what, it, what it was like a hundred years ago, you know, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. Yeah. The way the the way the, the Jewish people are accepted and there is like respect from many, many nations to the Torah and they, they letting like Jews to go to to, do, to to make synagogues and this and that and they're they're not trying to force so much like uh, Jewish people to, to other religions and so on. That's that uh, it, and it go it, it becomes to be stronger and stronger. And also that 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 movement of Noahides, that is, it was it was also in the past, like you said, but for our modern world, it's, it it yeah. comes to be like within within the I think about thirty years or so became to be like more more like stronger, and um. We are, as far as I see, we are in the midst of the process. 
not it's not something to to look like in the far future we're experiencing it that and 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 this 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 uh, conversation this class that we're having now is is one of one of those one of the proofs for that true so true so true that is so so true and like you said it happens on a really very basic one person level literally and you know so speaking personally you know uh i've been in no high for like 10 years now and uh um i live in the place where i live and it seems like when i try to share or people i run into i share what i can with them the whole mostly everybody and this is everybody let me just going to say everybody i've encountered have their hearts and minds closed to torah law so what that's the thing is like i'm wondering what kind of kick in the stomach is humanity going to have to get for them to realize there is a god and it's only one god and it's the true god of the jews it's like what is that kick to slap people out of their her- i don't know out of being just stubborn or disbelief it's like what what will have to have what will have to happen for something like that to, happen, to to occur like even you know president trump let's talk about president trump for a little bit this guy <laughs> his daughter in law his daughter and his brother or his son in law are jewish are jewish and the guy doesn't talk like he studies torah he doesn't act like he studies torah and it's at it's in his in his house it's in his own house So this is it's like a spiritual do you believe that it's like Hashem putting a spiritual blindness over people that is just not the right time look each person have his right time you you can again i'm not i'm not expecting to have something that is like dramatic that is like boom everything is like you know the the the, the there is there is a gemara that speaks about the the redemption or uh, that it, it, there was like three rabbis that they were walking on the mountain and they they saw the rising of the moon from the back of the mountains and one of them said this is the the same way with the redemption of of Am Israel kim a kim a slowly slowly and and for for me that's that's you know for me that that's that's why the experiencing it's not something that, that like what is the difference between like when you when you look on 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 a sunrise or or some uh, like what is the difference between like one moment to another it looks almost the same the, the amount of light that was added from the previous moment is very little the way that you can see the difference is if you if you look backwards like one hour before that then you see the difference between the darkness and the light that comes right before the sun rises uh, when the sun rises so when you see the sun so that's something else yeah that's something else but now we are we, as far as 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 i see the state of the world for most of the people the sun didn't rise yet so there is more light and there is a possibility to experience light and to relate one to another as if it is already day but you don't have to you can pretend that if it's still night somebody somebody that wants to um somebody that want, wants to keep on uh sleeping to the you know beginning of the morning he can it's it's it's, it's okay you know <clears throat> but in some point like you know how how long can you stay in bed you have to get up sometime you know So in certain point everybody will have to get up. It's just you know so you can, you can drag it a little bit more a little bit more another 5 minutes another 10 minutes okay but when when it's when it's noon time you know everybody have to get up at noon time it's like you know the sun is already in the middle of the sky like what are you doing in, in bed right So so some people I don't like to speak about other people they they they, they want to take their time and okay fine If that's what if that's what they want to do let them do that um for me I, i like the morning 
I enjoy the morning. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's a personal, it goes from a personal, personal basis, but eventually, it, it, eventually it's, it's fair to say, right, Rabbi, that the, the world is going to eventually, uh, the world will experience Hashem. Yeah. One way, for sure. one way or another. For sure, for sure, for sure. I think, I think that, again, I think that it's already happening. I think it's already happening. There's so many people that are interested in Torah and learning Torah and they listen to different rabbis and whatever, each one in his own perspective, in his own like pace, whatever. But there's definitely a lot of interest all around the world by, and even, even in the physical level, without the spiritual level, like the, the, the fact that, that Am Israel came back to Eretz Israel, and Baruch Hashem, Hashem gave, gave us the, the, the blessing to be successful physically, to be able to, to stand on our feet and so on. So that's, that by itself is, is, a, is a, like, you know, mind-changing uh, perspective for many, many people around the world, in the, in the nations. So there is many all kinds of groups of of, of 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 all kinds of nations that are coming to 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 Israel to see like what's going on here. Like I remember, I remember like maybe it was twenty something twenty years ago. So maybe a little bit more about twenty years ago mm -hmm. that I was I I. I it was the last time I, I went to outside of Israel. Um, yeah. I, I, I think I, I think I'm not sure if it was Australia or some somewhere. Anyhow, somebody told me that I told him that I'm from Israel. He said, like, I, you have to explain to me something. Like, how can it be that it's such a small place and all the time we hear about it in the news? Like, <laughs> like how can you explain that? Like yeah. there's, there's so the, the world is so big. There's so many like other nations and other countries that are so like bigger physically, and like no one knows about them. No one hears about them. So, so the fact is that Hashem gives Am Israel the like very very special uh, blessing, and. And people that, that, even the people that are trying to ignore it, you know, like, for example, the, the, the Christian world. So before the state of Israel, so they were like trying to push, like, God left Israel. We are the chosen nation now. This, that, you know, all kinds. Of, yeah. and, then, and then when it happened, when Am Israel came back to Israel, so they didn't know what to do. You know, that's very embarrassing. Like... All, like the agenda that they were trying to push and, and to promote was proven to be false. So, so they had to, you know, recalculate their, their, like their way. And now they say, no, really, the blessing of Am Israel is coming because of us. Some, what, I don't know, some, something like that. Like changing, changing the, 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 whole, the whole like uh, structure of, of their promotion. Right. But they have to say something. They can't ignore it. Right. That's that's my point right there, Rabbi. That's exactly my point. Something happens that these people see that Hashem is there, but yet they're hard-headed. Yet they make up a okay, dumb but, excuse. But, but the, the, the point is that they can't ignore it. They can't ignore it. They say, they have to say something. They have to they, they have to recalculate like what what to do. Because like what they what what they were planning to do, what they were planning to, to say doesn't work. Right? So Hashem have his ways how to move people from one thing to another. Yeah. When when someone is is in a process of self development, mm -hmm. self growth, it's not something that, you know, he wakes up in the morning and all of a sudden that's it. He's a new man. He's able to take over his last desires. He's able to do whatever he needs to do. He, he, can, he can wake up in the, in the earliest time that he wanted. It doesn't happen this way. It's a process. It takes time. Every, every, every step, there's, there needs to be a, a, a time to, to digest, digest 
tests the information to apply that to live that to get used to that to make yourself ready for the next step it takes time different people have different pace how like how fast it is but you you are you 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 are in a, in a, a coach uh, right the uh, how do you call it? the gym coach right so when you have someone that that is that is uh, that needs needs to be to 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 start is is a uh, is a uh, exercise you can't give him like you know a whole lot of you know full, full program of you know build the building whatever it is you have to start bit by bit let 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 the body to to get used to 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 the new movements you know and so on and so forth right it's a process so the same thing and how much more so even much much greater scale when you're talking about something that is like mental emotional spiritual it's even harder yeah there is some people that it, that it goes very easily and very naturally and just like you know yeah very short time and they already flying with the with the angels whatever that means but yeah. usually it's not the case usually people need time you, know, you can you, you know about yourself each person knows about himself you know i had my process you had your process every person have his own process of what he had to go through to admit the truth right <clears throat> so there is there is a certain like breaking point okay if, if I, I think that that's what you're looking for the, so but what is the breaking point of, of every person is again it's a personal point you know so you're asking about, about president trump what is breaking point i don't know seems like like is a, is a, is a tough cookie you know is a, whatever you know the, there is ma- there's many there's many people in the world that they they have they feel the truth is that they no one is losing by admitting in the truth yeah no one is 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 losing but there is many people that they feel that they will lose by by admitting in the truth so they don't want to admit the truth because they want to play a little a little longer to play on on whatever it is that they gaining from their from their game a little longer okay just a matter of time how would it happen i don't know we we'll let the shame to see i'm i'm okay. I, i say many times sit back and enjoy the drive sham is a driver this is not really you don't have to say this is a roller coaster this is a horrible roller coaster <laughs> it's not horrible it's wonderful sham is sham is 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 so great it's taking us to such a wonderful drive i'm i'm enjoying myself bow hashem god somebody is enjoying it Thank God somebody's enjoying it. I see. So it's just a matter of time. When it comes to individual, I understand that. But I also know that the Kabbalah teaches that every nation has a, a, uh, an angel over that nation. So collectively, United States, Mexico, Canada, and China have an angel over, over them. So that's their muzzle. Their, their muzzle is already set. But when it comes to an individual, it's up to them to make the choice. Yeah. Uh, okay. I agree to that. I agree to that. And exactly how does, it, how does it work? Like what's the mechanic of the relationship between Hashem, the angels, human beings, and so on? that's you know that's that's that we're not going to go into that right now maybe maybe another time but the point is that whatever the mechanic should be there's no doubt that there's one that knows how to activate the system and it is the one that created the system okay so we don't know what like what is the switch of like that you that we have to turn to make this engine of the you know the new world of the of the redemption to you know to start driving but it's again 
as far as I'm concerned, it's already driving. It's already going. Uh, anyhow, I, I, there's, there's someone that is waiting for me. So I, I, have, to, I, have, to, I have to go soon. Okay. Um, um, you don't mind? Are you, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind, can you, uh, can you take us off the recording? I want to ask you something. Okay. Okay. No problem. For the people that listen to the recording. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Um, that's what I want to do. Can I ask you something?